Good morning, y'all. <clears throat> it is Sunday morning, about 11-ish. I am on my way back to REI in Encinitas, and I'm going to return my cot. Now, the reason I decided to do this, you guys, you can probably see the box right back there. The reason I decided to do this is because... In a quarter mile, use the left two lanes to turn left onto South Rancho Santa Fe Road. Excuse my GPS, y'all, but you know I get lost in the bathroom. Anyway, the reason I decided to do this is because I wanted to sit my back seat back up in the van so that I would have room... Use the, the left two room. lanes to turn left onto South Rancho Santa okay. Fe Road. <clears throat> I'm sorry. Allergies. What was I saying? Oh, I wanted to put, I wanted to have room to put my two captain's chairs in here to take over to storage. So when I was folding up the cot, it's just more bulky, heavy, than I really want to have to deal with. Um, if I was going to keep my van in the camper mode all the time, it would be okay. But I'm not going to do that. I don't travel very much, as y'all know. So I'm going to take it back. And eventually, when I get ready to go back to Washington in the spring, then I will buy a smaller, lightweight, easier to put up and down cot. So that's what we're going to do today. I won't say it's my fun thing, but it is a beautiful day. And y'all know I love to be out driving. I really enjoyed my trip down to San Diego yesterday when I went down there to pick up my little chair, an ottoman, which is going to work out perfectly in our small living room. But the main thing that I wanted to talk about today is something that a lot of you guys will be going, ew, that's disgusting. How could anybody ever do that? Oh my gosh, oh Lord, oh man. Okay, get over it. Get over it. What I would like, no, I'm not mad, you guys, you know that. What I would like you to do is to go on YouTube and watch some of the channels. Now, I have a friend who was a captain of a fire department. I'm not going to say what state or any of that, but anyway, he has since retired, but long before he retired, he was a dumpster diver. Yes, he was. Now, I first became aware of dumpster diving when I was sitting at my son's waiting for my disability to kick in so I could buy a van. And all I did, you guys, was watch YouTube. And I happened on his little channel and that took me to other channels. All you have to do is search dumpster divers and you will be flooded with people who are doing videos about this subject. Now you guys, I've always been kind of a uh, I don't know what the word would be. I'll tell you that when I was really young, my sister and I, she had this beautiful antique old pickup truck. And they had back in Arkansas, and I'm sure they have it everywhere, once a month they have what's called big item pickup. So you could put pieces of furniture, old TVs, whatever you didn't want out on the curb and the trash people would come and pick this stuff up. So we used to go to the very nice neighborhoods the night before big item pickup. 
and scavenge. I guess you could say that. I mean, there wasn't anything wrong with it. This stuff was going to the dump. So we used to go and pick up some of the nicest items you could imagine. Tables, chairs, uh, I mean, you name it, couches, love seats, everything. These well-to-do people replaced us all the time. And what they put out for the big item pickup is, I mean, it's, you guys know what I mean. It is a sin to me to throw things like that in the dumpster. Okay, so when I happened on these channels, I took Hazel one day to um, get her grooming done, which my son helped me with, by the way. And um, he didn't take her, he paid for it. So, so anyway, while she was in PetSmart, I was sitting in the parking lot and I was reading and I started thinking about these videos. So I got out of my car and I walked behind PetSmart and they had a big old dumpster back there. They had two of them actually. And they were kind of tall. They were taller than your normal dumpsters. But I kind of climbed up on there a little bit and I looked inside the dumpster, you guys. There were 20 pound bags of dog food that had never been opened. There were bottles and bottles of shampoo. And I mean, you name it, it was in there. This was not a typical trash dumpster, you guys, where all kind and manner of nasty stuff is thrown in there. It didn't have kitchen garbage or bathroom garbage. This was brand new things in the dumpster. Now, if I'd have been taller or had a footstool or a way to pick some of that out of there and take it and donate it to animal rescues or the pound, I would have done it. Now, this was in broad daylight, you guys. Dumpster divers tend to do their diving late at night or very early in the morning. It will break your heart when you watch some of these channels and you see the things that are thrown away and the things that store owners do to keep people from being able to use what they are throwing in the trash and the landfill. Now that's what is disgusting to me. If it's furniture, they take a knife and they slash the cushions. They spray paint all over stuff so that people cannot use it. It makes me sick. We are so wasteful in this country. It breaks my heart, you guys. I mean, watch some of these channels and you'll know exactly what I'm talking about. And my hat is off to these people that do this and they save some of this stuff they donate it, they use it. They even have garage sales. Who cares if someone is profiting off of this waste? Says a lot about our country, doesn't it, y'all? I have to go now. <laughs> because I'm gonna have to turn up here pretty soon. And I don't want you to have to listen to my GPS. But I love y'all. Do something fun today. Get some young person to go with you. 
and do a little dumpster diving. Now don't go to restaurants, don't go to places where you're gonna have all nasty stuff. But I tell you some of the best places that I have seen that people find stuff are places like Radio Shack. Um, oh, just all kinds of stuff. Y'all watch a couple of videos, okay? Have a good day and do something fun and I will talk to y'all later. Bye now.